Taurus. Thanks for watching. Appreciate it. We are going to look at the love energy around you for the week ahead. We're going to look at the situation, any obstacles, as well as the outcome. We're also going to look at how you're feeling and how the person on your mind is feeling, as well as advice and some oracle. If you're not dealing with anybody, don't worry about it. We'll see if anything new is coming. So remember that the energies can be reversed. Also remember it's a general reading. So just take what's yours. Leave the rest behind. If it does resonate, <clears throat> excuse me, please make sure that you like and subscribe below. And if you'd like to contact me for our personal reading, that's below as well. A lot of like protective apart energy. Um, this can be a situation like it's it's been on someone's mind. Maybe some a situation you've invested a lot of your time, your energy, but now there's worry and anxiety around it, and also like a lot of very protective energy of heart self. All right. So also you can check out my website. My website the and spin the wheel, get your chance at a free reading. Okay. Could be dealing with a Gemini, Aries is here. All right, so somebody does, the, the feelings on both sides are really, are really nice. It feels like the, there there's, I don't really know how else. There's like this blockage energy. I don't know if that's around communication, maybe distance. We'll see. But it's not like in line with what either side wants. So uh, we're, we'll clarify and see. So Taurus, what does Taurus need to know around love for the week coming up? You have Dustin. This relationship is meant to be. So you may have the wheel supporting you, but then you got round and around. Cycle of high and low emotions with no resolve. You also have situationship, just having fun, no commitment. So you've got like all this back and forth kind of player, non committal energy that's around the situation. But the first card out was Dustin. Yeah. <laughs> You have I'm single, enjoying the single life, and then you have forever and ever marriage or long-term com commitment. With the, this energy, feels like is something that's kind of keeping you hanging there. Uh, maybe not like even physically, but energetically, and it's 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 almost like something that's supposed to happen, but it's not happening. Like you may not even be around this person for some you definitely could be single and there may not be anything like like a serious commitment there right now so let's clarify this for the situation you have the lovers again uh that's gemini energy sometimes with the lovers there can be a third energy that comes in between things you got the lovers the ten of cups which is emotional fulfillment. So it feels like there is there is this connection that's here. But show, tell me about the lovers. What's going on with it? The three of pentacles. So there is, whether it's work, distance, there is, uh, or communication, something like that. There is some type of barrier that's here. It's almost like an energy that's trying to progress, but actually it could have ended um or somebody's financial situation but it's almost felt like the situation has ended somebody's healed silent and it appears like someone has moved on show me this nine of cups because you got your nine and your ten of cups here so that's about emotional fulfillment The moon is Cancer Pisces energy. There is like, while there doesn't necessarily feel like there's a lot of movement here, there is someone that is holding back but also watching. See, yeah, the, the moon, the two of swords, things have been at a crossroads. So whether that's because somebody needs to 
it can be for a couple of different reasons. Like even if you're single, you may have been single for a little bit. Um, but sometimes with the two of swords in general, <clears throat> because we do have like this stalking energy, things can be at a crossroads. Somebody, there can be trust issues. There can be a lot of things. Um, it can be like difficulty having a productive conversation. It can be toxic relationships. It can be a lot that goes on there. Show me this emperor for the outcome, please, for Taurus. So the emperor's Aries energy. We also have the death card, which is Scorpio energy. Still not a lot of movement here. Tell me more about the outcome. The hangman, the page of wands. This is almost like some. the emperor is supposed to know what the emperor wants. Masculine, I mean, male or female, it doesn't really matter. But with the death card, the hangman, it's almost like there is, like I said, there's this other energy that's here. But it's not coming across as third party. So that's not, not necessarily what it has to be. It can just be in general, like, not opening up, not making a move. Confidence level isn't there. It looks like, especially if you're moving on, there's some jealousy that's around that. So show me this advice for Taurus. You have, ooh, the Page of Swords, which is air energy, but the Page of Swords goes at things from a logical perspective. Um, the Page of Swords is also curious. The Nine of Wands, it almost kind of feels like a tread lightly type energy. Like with the Nine of Wands, that's the Wounded Warrior, down but not out. But it is about moving forward and kind of like having the knowledge. Because this doesn't feel like there's reading messages carefully. Although I don't see any messages that are here. This more so comes across like you're moving on from someone and they're still watching you there. There is some jealousy. So for the feelings, this energy over here, uh, you're going to have to flip it how it resonates. This one has the four of wands. This one has the magician. The four of wands is stability, marriage, commitment, the biggies. The magician is just that. It's about making things happen. Show me the four of wands, please, for how this energy is feeling. The judgment, which is interesting because with the judgment, that's like working on past issues, making a decision. And with the two of swords here, it feels like there's so much that's like under the surface and moves and decisions that have not been made. There's jealousy in the background. I don't know whose side that's coming off of. Show me the magician for how this energy is feeling. Mm. you got the devil there's some stalking obsessive type energy that's here like this person is definitely hooked on you and they're spying they're, for the devil to be there for feelings and then for the outcome we have the death card that's about breaking patterns why is the devil here for how yeah you got the Knight of Cups, the Two of Wands, the High Priestess. So this this can definitely be a pattern. This energy over here is wanting to move forward. They do have feelings for you. You know, it, it, something here could even, depending on the situation, go as like far as a proposal. But there is a like a level of toxicity or like a habit, something that keeps going round and around, and it's all it's it's interesting because it's almost like something maybe eventually will happen and it's going to settle down but there's still like this, this energy that's that's kind of still there and in the middle again it's not coming across as third party it can be procrastination it can be drugs alcohol addictions it can be not making up one's mind taking action you know it could be work distance it could be a couple of things but Um, your dreams do have a lot to tell you. This is all about kind of, uh, make sure you check out your July month ahead, but this is all about breaking cycles. 
and one side may be very focused on that and the other side you know the feelings are here but this is kind of uh there's a lot of love there's a good friendship but this this energy over here can kind of you know keep things going in a circle all right Taurus I hope this helped if it resonated please make sure that you like and subscribe below if you'd like to contact me for our personal reading that is below as well you guys take care and i will see you next time